As you're about to see in a moment, we will stop at absolutely nothing to bring you the winners here on The Morning Wager. Oh, by the way, we were 2-1 and one last time we joined you on Friday. Yes, we got that over in Duke Northwestern, despite Mark Zeno thinking it was a terrible idea. Thank you, Overtime. Uh, Mark Zitto on location. He's going to talk to us about the Angels and Twins focusing in on the first five. What's going on, Mark? Good morning, BP. Uh, good morning, everybody at Wager Talk. Uh, yes, as you can see, I am uh, remote this week due to military training. You guys have heard of comedians in cars. Well, today we have cappers in cars because uh, the government is so scared of China. Uh, they will not put Wi-Fi on military posts, so I had to come to the local Dunkin' Donuts uh, to be able to get some internet connectivity, and, and here we are. So we digress from that to focus on the Minnesota Twins and David Festa going up against Reed Detmers here. Now, Detmers is making just his third start since May. Uh, he went on the IL in early June. He just came off uh, last week and made a great start against the Dodgers. Six innings, two runs, ten strikeouts. He was pretty good, but I'm going to fade him here, and I'm going to put I'm going to back David Festa once again, just because this is a young pitcher that we've backed a lot. We've looked at his K prop a lot. The Angels have the eighth highest K rate on the road since the beginning of August. Here again, this is an Angels team that's fading. This is a Twins team that's pushing. The Twins are a much better offense at home. Uh, they're top eight in WRC plus at home since August first. This is a spot here where the Angels offense can get to Reed Detmers early. David Festa should be able to take care of the rest as long as we get typical Festa, which I know a lot of people don't know what that is. But, you know, if you look at his numbers and his starts, he's been very good and very reliable since moving into the starting rotation here. So uh, you're talking about two runs or less in four of his last five starts. The only one I didn't go to was the one day we did the K-prop with him against St. Louis. And he uh, he ended up with five, and it was five and a half. He only got pulled at the three and two-thirds. So... Regardless here, um, this is a spot where I think we get the lead after five and uh, we, we, we're willing to lay the half run here with the Minnesota Twins. All right, go ahead and smash that like button if you're rolling with Mark and the Twins in the first five. I, too, have a first five play here for my half of the double play, although I will be taking, not laying, the half a run. Vintage Brian Power here, guys. Uh, I'm looking at the Reds and Braves over their last 27 games. Brave starting pitchers have not allowed more than three earned runs once, uh, which doesn't sound good for betting the Reds in the first five tonight, but I am going to bet the Reds in the first five tonight, plus the half run should be around minus 125. Shop around for the best available price. I would not be surprised if old Chaz Morton, who is starting for the Braves tonight, is the one who ends that streak of Brave starting pitchers allowing no more than three earned runs. You look at Morton's season, okay? Yes, he's been better recently, He's faced some weak opponents, though. But for the season, 4.59 expected ERA. So he's been overachieving a little bit. Uh, meanwhile, the starter for the Reds is Nick Martinez, former reliever. I've talked about that before on the program. And he's done a nice job transitioning to the role of starter. 2.74 ERA, 0.85 whip on the road this season. So he likes pitching away from Great American Ballpark. This game is in Atlanta, of course. And I think the Reds who are better than their record. I've got to mention it again, their positive run differential for the year. I think they're live to win this game. If they do, it's likely going to be because of Martinez pitching well early. The smartest bet is to take the half run in the first five. Something else to note, the Braves needed 11 innings to win yesterday against the Blue Jays. They were three outs away from losing, tied at the bottom of the ninth. Then they needed to score twice in the 11th. So a really tough game there. I know it was a close call for Cincy as well on Sunday, but really impressive. Beating the Mets. The Mets were 9-0 and their previous nine games. The Reds are also 2-0 and against the Braves here in 2024. Both those wins came here in Atlanta. So first five run line, it is with Cincy. Take the plus point five. All right, guys, before we get to Monday Night Football and our best bet on the show, just wanted to remind you uh, about what's going on at wagertalk.com. Great run for yours truly. 23 and 11 and 1 in all sports the last 16 days. It was a great weekend of football, particularly on the college front. Uh, we go 3 and 1 on Saturday. Had Northern Illinois, didn't need those 28 points as they upset Notre Dame outright. It was a winning week one in the NFL as well. For Monday, my top selection currently available, wt.buzz BP, is a total in Major League Baseball. I am on a 6-1 and one run with MLB totals after the 4% on the under in Guardians-Dodgers yesterday. No sweat there as the Guardians were shut out. So head on over there to pick up 
today's top play. Let's now talk about the Monday Night Football game between the Jets and the 49ers. We're going to like the 49ers under 24 and a half. You can get that number by laying minus 130 at DraftKings. So head on over there. Uh, that's uh, that's the place to get it. I, I think some other shops might be dealing 23 and a half right now. Look, all the money seems to be coming in on both the Jets and the under here in this final game for week one. I don't really want to play the Jets at the current number plus three and a half. Obviously, we missed the best of the number. But it stands to reason, at least in my opinion, that if the Jets do cover this game, it's going to be because of a defense that was among the best in the league last season, allowed just 20.9 points per game. And this 49ers offense coming to the year, gang, has some question marks. How effective can Trent Williams be? Uh, the left tackle, the wide receiver, Brandon Ayuk. These guys dealt with contract squabbles all offseason. Christian McCaffrey banged up throughout the preseason. Is he 100% by the way? You really want to monitor Williams' status because the last, if he doesn't play for some reason, the last five times he hasn't played, the Niners are 0-5 straight up and did not top 20 points in any of those games. But another reason I want to lean Niners team total under instead of taking the points with the Jets is that I personally want to see how Aaron Rodgers looks in a full game before betting him. Yes, Rodgers 15-9 and ATS as a dog in his career, but he has not thrown for 300-plus yards in a game since. December of 2021, that was a long time ago. But I do trust the Jets' defense to do their part in what figures to be a low-scoring game all around. And, of course, you can't forget about this trend if you're a trends person. The team that lost the Super Bowl the previous season, just 10-14 and 14 straight up, 5-19 and 19 ATS since the year 2000. That does not bode well for the Niners, even with the Jets likely being without Hassan Reddick. 49ers, under. 24 and a half is how we'd play this one. That is your show best bet. Smash that like button if you already haven't done so. Comment down below with how you're playing Monday Night Football, your favorite Major League Baseball bets for Monday as well. You can catch me on Wager Talk today later on with Teddy and the Prez. There he is right there. Mark Zeno, I'll tell you what. Um, again, if you haven't subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, what are you doing? Not only do I do the more, not only do Mark and I do the morning wager here every Monday through Friday, but I drop the Power Five, which has been on fire, say for yesterday, uh, every day here on the Wage Talk YouTube channel. No one has more exclusive sports betting content than us. That's going to do it for the show today and a bridge show here. Mark Zeno getting it done. Nothing will stop him from getting those plays in. Until next time, guys, let's catch some tickets. <laughs>